Hmm. I brought up the topic of being approachable in the last vid. I didn't even bring it up, he just mentioned it. If you could say mentioning was is the same as approachable. Uh, what do I want to relate? What do I want to say first? What do I want to say first? Well, before I forget, I've had a history, a weird history of attracting nice girls that I like, liked, I guess, but I was really unable to reciprocate their feelings because I didn't feel the same intensity as they did. I wasn't on the same wavelength, I guess. I didn't, it didn't get to a point where I really wanted the girl back, but I did wonder why the girls out the girls that I'm into tend to be very timid and evasive, but the girls that I do not want attention from are very full on and physical. Uh, I don't want to go into stories just yet, just want to mention that. And it kind of puts me off because I, I wonder if, as a person, I'm really boyfriend material. Am I, am I? Could I be a boyfriend? Could I be a good boyfriend? I don't know. I, I'd like to think that I am. Um, at, at one point, I felt like whatever, I'll just be a kid, you know, I'll play games, and eat food, and fuck around, that's not me, that's really pointless, I like things being efficient, or having structure, and being a good boyfriend is, I guess, one of the things that I want to get into, I, I want to find some purpose in the way I do things, I guess, I'm trying to give some meaning into my actions, and... Yeah, that's great. I that's compelled me to learn how to cook or, or know things or be supportive, knowledgeable, I guess. Have a sense of how to support people I love. How to be able to be dependable and be a resource that can be used. Um, but I feel that in some way that does relate to my concept of the point in life so what's the point in all of this when we're all gonna die and blah 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 and it also relates to my earlier point about girls finding me boring after a while because I say oh look a nice guy is pretty funny he's pretty supportive oh wow he's boring oh well time to find some other guy who looks really nice and I don't know I, I, I get this conception that girls are into badasses they're not into good guys they're not into the nice guys and then girls that are into the nice guys tend to be very evasive I don't know the nice girls that I know they already have boyfriends so they're already taken uh, but when I see those boyfriends I think some of them don't seem very dependable they don't look like a supporter they look like some guy who plays computer games all day and on the rare occasion takes his girlfriend out to lunch. I'm jealous of those guys. I wish I was like that. I wish I could just, you know, not give a fuck. But I don't, I don't like being useless. I guess that's my main fear, being useless. And that stems from the fact that girls find me boring and I have no meaningful way to look at the world and have to see any point in my actions. and. Yeah, everything just clicks in the place when I say there's just no point to whatever I do. But I do want to be, do want to have an impact, and being a good boyfriend is sort of like that. Uh, what can I do? Um, what can make me a better boyfriend? I don't know. I actually might write about that because. I know people don't usually watch these, so I won't ever get a reply. I don't think so. It will be a rare, a very rare chance that I'll get a reply. Uh, it's pretty lonely, now I think about it. 
people are always trying to be useful or have some sort of impact in the world around them and the ability to share so much content and that like goes the same for everyone everyone's sharing content it content it just becomes blurred in this mass of information and people just end up being lonely in their own little world and that sucks I can't say that I'm not lonely I am pretty lonely I use so many social mediums I use blogs and forums and stuff and I still surprisingly do feel lonely sometimes they say that people with many many friends tend to be the most loneliest as a general idea positive thoughts I am a good person blah 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 they also say that if you sit and just dwell on the negative you tend to be a very negative person kind of feed off your own negativity I do not want that right now I need to focus I need to have purpose and direction even though my mind keeps telling me that there is no sense of purpose and direction in this world in the end I gotta do what I gotta do I guess uh, yeah I, I stopped understanding where my topic goes anymore so <laughs> I don't want to stop the vid there is something I want to talk about I, and I can't think of it I'm losing sleep as well I tend to sleep during the day which is pretty bad it's weird fuck I don't know I really do want people to watch this want some sort of attention I guess even if it is one person or a friend or a stranger I want some sort of input and in that sense that relates to me wanting to be a, a boyfriend because I want someone that I can talk to whenever I feel the need to talk because sometimes you don't talk to your friends out of, out of nowhere you tend to have something to talk about that's how I see it I wouldn't call up my friends to just chatter about things because I'm not that kind of person like I said I don't like conversations that are inane and pointless I don't like pointlessness pretty much but I do like talking and thinking and I'd like to find someone nice that could talk with me it just keep me company at least because in our own little worlds we are very lonely people and I guess we go around trying to find someone who can fill that gap and that's why some people don't need boyfriends and girlfriends because they have people that are important to them that fill that gap now that raises another question whether I should be looking for someone or looking for a friendship that fills that gap I feel that friendships do not feel that loneliness gap. I still do feel very lonely. I I miss the company of a woman. Not in the sense that I want to have sex, but just I miss the company of a woman and I'd, I'd like to to love something unconditionally. That isn't my parents or my sister because that's that's like given. It's almost like I take it for granted, which I shouldn't say. I shouldn't say that I love my parents in the the way I take them for granted, but I kind of do. But I think most people do. In extreme situations like death or cancer, you, you tend to love your parents much, much strongly. But with a loved one, <laughs> maybe I'm just desperate to love something. It doesn't matter what. Uh, which is pretty creepy. <laughs> uh, this is getting me down. I, I better stop.